the Olympic pool and ready to watch the effort of a man who over the past several years has been one of the biggest names in American swimming. 25-year-old Rowdy Gaines of Winter Haven, Florida, now with his only chance to win an Olympic gold medal in an individual event. Let's meet Rowdy Gaines in a profile narrated by my colleague Jack Whitaker. He would have been favored to win four gold medals, perhaps more, at Moscow in 1980. Now he will have only this one chance. He failed to qualify for the American Olympic team in the 200-meter freestyle, so here it is. Jim Montgomery holds the Olympic record in this event. Rowdy Gaines has held the world record at 49 and 36 hundredths since 1981. Rowdy Gaines was not the leading qualifier at the United States Olympic trials. He was beaten there by his teammate, Mike Heath. And Heath, as Mark Spitz mentioned earlier in our evening program, has already won a silver medal and a gold medal at these games. Now, here are the eight men in the pool. Dirk Kortals of West Germany is in lane one. He was on the 4 by 200 meter relay team that you saw win a silver medal in that dramatic race last night. In lane two, you will see Dino Alzal. There's Kortals, 22 years old, saying his hello to the crowd. Lane two, Dino Halsell, 21 years old from Onex, Switzerland. He set a Swiss record of 50.91 in his trial heat this morning, but was not ranked in the top 25 in the world last year. Didn't make the finals of the European Championships and must be called a rank outsider. Here is Gaines. He swam 50.41 in the trial. Not a particularly fast time for Rowdy. Was he coasting? Was he holding something back? It has not been his pattern in recent years. He is known as a very fast morning swimmer. So it may have been a little bit of a storm signal when he swam 50-41 this morning. That won't win a gold medal. There's Mark Stockwell. He qualified in 50.27, 21 years old from Australia, and a man who must be regarded at this moment as a strong threat to beat Gaines and Heath for the gold medal. There's Mike Heath. He'll be in lane five. You met him already. He's 19 years old from Dallas, Texas, and the University of Florida, now the American record holder in the 200-meter freestyle, and number four all time in the 100-meter freestyle. There's Per Johansson of Berlanga, Sweden. He'll be in lane six, an outstanding big meat swimmer, bronze medalist in this event in Moscow in 1980. His 50.19 personal record is well behind the better times of Gaines and Heath, but he swims fast when it matters most. Lane seven, Alberto Maestre, 19 years old from Caracas, Venezuela, and the University of Florida. Went to the Hill School, a noted prep school in the eastern part of the country, so he has spent most of his swimming training time in the United States. And in lane eight, Stefan Caron, the French champion and was not ranked within the top 25 in the world last year. Didn't make the final at the European Championship. Another man who must be regarded as a rank outsider. You have to expect, Mark Spitz, that the race will be in lanes three, four, five, and six between Gaines, Stockwell, Heath, and Johansson, and there are the main three. Rowdy Gaines in three, Stockwell the leading qualifier in lane four, Heath in lane five. Rowdy Gaines may have a slight disadvantage because he has not had a chance yet to come out to the finals and swim yet, where the other two men have. And this could actually have a very big bearing on whether or not Rowdy can get out to a fast time. Rowdy will use that unconventional style start, and he got off to a very fast start. He did indeed take the lead off the blocks into the water before any other swimmer. Rowdy Gaines in lane three, holding the lead. Stockwell also got a good start. Heath was off the blocks last, and is still last as they approach the 50-meter mark. The world record split is 23.52. If he wants to break the world record or win, he's got to go out in front, and he's done just that. It's better to die and try to hold on because everybody else is going to have swum just as hard as him. It's not harder to try to catch him. A little bit behind world record pace, but Rowdy's got a half-body length lead. And Stockwell it does not seem to be coming on. Now in lane two, Dino Halsell of Switzerland is trying to get up into Rowdy Gaines' weight. But right now, as they come down within 10 meters of the wall, the sentimental favorite, Rowdy Gaines, is going to he's win a gold medal. He's got it. Rowdy Gaines has won the 100-meter freestyle, a time of 49.80, a new Olympic record, and you won't see happiness all week to match that. <laughs> he just won himself a gold medal, Jim, and that also put him on the medley relay. He has a chance for another one. What a great way to cap off a career. 25 years old, the spiritual leader of the American team, because he is so respected by all of his teammates. Mike Heath over there congratulating him now. <coughs> Suddenly the crowd has gone silent. 
I'm not sure why. Gaines is holding his hand over his eyes. And it is official. There was a moment of doubt there. I don't know exactly what the public address announcer said that caused Gaines to look like that, but now the celebration continues as Rowdy Gaines has finally added the one credential that was missing from his career, the one that so many people wanted him to win, an Olympic gold medal. We'll be back, hopefully, with a chance to talk to Rowdy Gaines. It's in the 100-meter freestyle. Gaines, the gold medalist at 49.80. The silver medal to Mark Stockwell of Australia. The bronze to Per Johansson of Sweden. And Rowdy Gaines is downstairs with Diana Nyack. Rowdy, over many years of being the very best, the very best in all the world, you've had a lot of happy moments. We've all seen you, millions of us. They're all watching you at home right now. But is this the very, very top of all those happy moments? Oh, no. I guess when I won my state high school meeting <laughs> my senior year, that was pretty good. No. I don't believe it. My grandmother dreamed this was going to happen. She said she, had, she wouldn't have, didn't have a doubt in the world. And I said, yeah, right, Grandma. Grandma, I'm sticking with you from now on. Mark Spitz said if Rowdy ever had a time when he had to get his act together, it was tonight. And you did it. Did you, did you prepare? Were you out there? We saw you in the waiting room, you know, with your headphones on and thinking, were you, were you doing it just like you always did before the big races, or did you do, think something different? I don't know what I was thinking. I, was, I would swear, this is wrong to say this, but I was preparing a loser speech. I was thinking, well, I've had a great swimming career, and no matter if I got second or third, I'm still happy with myself. I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. Thanks, Winter Haven, for supporting me in Columbus, Mississippi. And <laughs> okay, listen, you're so ecstatic that, that you, your mind's all over the place, but the race itself, quick start, head at the 50, quick second 50, obviously. Did you know where you were? Were you, were you excited, or were you always composed throughout the whole race? That's the thing. I, he, he got us down, and Richard, my coach, told me right before I swam, he said, get down, he's going to have a quick start. And I did, and that start I had really helps for that, you know, because you're not leaning in. And my first 50, I have no idea where I was my first 50, but I had no idea where I was the whole race, really. Except with about 25 meters ago, I knew I was ahead. I said, I can't give up now. I've got 25 more meters the rest of my life, and I'll never have to worry about it again. Well, this is going to be a celebration like uh, you've never had. Congratulations from Thank all of us. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Mm.